All right, guys. I I want to show you in 2019 the view, the different kind of uh changes they've done with the view interfaces and uh, adding uh, some new functionality to it. So as you see here, I've got level one up here and level another level one for project two. So as you see, there's already something different. It now has tabs where you can tap between different views. Ah, uh, so these are two different projects. There's so here, this is project one, level one, project two, level one. I just simply created a, with a, the wall command, created two different uh, designs so that we can easily tell the difference. So the first cool thing is now we can create kind of two different tests. So for example, we have two projects. We can now separate these. So I can come up here, grab this, pull it away from that, come down here. And it works in the same way as a lot of the property palettes. You can come over to the sides and stuff. I'm going to put it down here. Um, so now you can see we have level one, project two, level one, project one kind of separated. So it's a little bit easier to deal with. And so while I'm in project one, I can actually come up here. Let's just create a 3D view and it adds it to that tab. So now it's sort of like we can have all our project one views set right there. We can easily navigate from one to one, one to the other one. So that's pretty nice. Uh, come down here and do the same thing. Open it and now we have kind of the same functionality. So this should, I really, really like this. Uh, comment, uh, kind of uh, let me know. Um, if this new functionality is something that you like or, or if you, uh, if, uh, it's, it's making things a little bit easier to navigate or if it isn't, I I'd love to hear. But another thing real quick I want to show you is if we can take this, you know, right here, this 3D view, we can kind of now pull it off and just to give you an idea. We can pull it off and now go to another screen with a with a view. So that's ever. It's always been property palettes that have been able to do that, but now you can drag your views off. So that is, uh, I think, pretty neat. Something that uh, some people may not like is that I can't kind of create that same tab functionality as I could within within the Revit uh, direct the direct interface of Revit. So I can't like kind of pull this off and combine it. So that kind of sucks, but it uh, it's still sort of nice to be able to drag these off into another screen and maybe keep them off there and uh, help with uh, kind of navigating the projects and whatnot. So I hope this helps. Let me know if there's any other tips or tricks you want to know. Uh, like, share, and uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys.